In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, faithful viewers, to our channel, where we journey together in the light of faith and the footsteps of the saints. Today we're blessed to share another chapter in the lives of the extraordinary men and women who have walked the path of holiness before us. As we explore their stories and teachings, let us open our hearts to the wisdom and grace they offer, allowing their lives to inspire and guide us in our own spiritual journey. Together, let's celebrate the rich heritage of our Catholic faith, drawing closer to God through the examples of His devoted servants. Thank you for joining us in this journey of faith and inspiration. We hope you're enjoying our Living the Word series, finding inspiration and spiritual enrichment. If you haven't subscribed yet, we invite you to do so. Subscribing is free and keeps you updated with our latest episodes, supporting us immensely. Your subscription helps us continue bringing you content that illuminates the path of faith through the lives of the saints. Each subscription is a valuable contribution that helps us reach more people and share the wisdom of these extraordinary figures. If you enjoy our content and want to see more, please click the subscribe button. Together, let's explore the richness of our faith and the inspiring lives of the saints. Thank you for your support and for being part of our journey in living the Word. God bless you. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the life and virtues of St. Agnellus of Pisa. In the heart of medieval Italy, amidst the winding streets and ancient walls of Pisa, a noble soul was born into the world, an individual destined to leave an indelible mark on the Franciscan order and the spread of the gospel. His name was Agnellus, and his life story is one of unwavering faith, humble service, and miraculous deeds. Born Benedetto Agnello de Pisa, little is known about his early years, save for the fact that he hailed from a family of noble lineage deeply rooted in the Catholic faith. From his earliest days, there seemed to be a stirring within young Agnellus, a calling, a divine whisper urging him to a life of devotion and service to God. In his pursuit of this divine calling, Agnellus found himself drawn to the teachings of St. Francis of Assisi, the revered founder of the Franciscan Order. Inspired by St. Francis' radical embrace of poverty, humility, and evangelization, Agnellus made the life-altering decision to join the Franciscan Brotherhood. It was a pivotal moment when Agnellus stood before St. Francis himself, receiving the habit and the blessings of the saint during his visit to Pisa. From that moment onward, Agnellus embarked on a journey of faith, vowing to live according to the Franciscan rule and to emulate the virtues of their founder. As a Franciscan friar, Agnellus dedicated himself wholeheartedly to the service of God and his fellow human beings. His mission took him far from the familiar streets of Pisa, across the English Channel to the shores of England, a land ripe for the seeds of Franciscan spirituality to take root and flourish. In England, Agnellus found himself faced with the daunting task of establishing the Franciscan presence in a foreign land. Undeterred by the challenges that lay ahead, he set about founding several Franciscan convents, each a beacon of light amidst the darkness of the medieval world. Among his most significant achievements was the establishment of a Franciscan friary in Oxford, a renowned center of learning and scholarship during the medieval period. Here, Agnellus laid the foundation for a school of theology, providing comprehensive education and spiritual formation for Franciscan friars and other students of the faith. Yet, Agnellus's legacy extends far beyond the bricks and mortar of the institutions he helped establish. Throughout his life, he was believed to have been a vessel for God's grace, performing miraculous deeds that touched the lives of many. Whether it was healing the sick, comforting the afflicted, or bringing hope to the despairing, miracles were a testament to his unwavering faith and his profound connection to the divine. Today, St. Agnellus of Pisa is venerated as a patron saint of Franciscan friars, missionaries, and all who strive to emulate his virtues of poverty, humility, and evangelization. His legacy continues to inspire countless souls around the world, reminding us of the transformative power of faith service, and love. As we reflect on the life of St. Agnellus of Pisa, let us be inspired by his example and strive to follow in his footsteps. Let us pray. 
O God, who inspired St. Agnellus of Pisa to embrace the Franciscan charism of poverty, humility, and evangelization, grant us the grace to follow his example. May we, like him, dedicate our lives to your service, serving our brothers and sisters with love and compassion. Through his intercession, may we be strengthened in faith and empowered to spread the light of your gospel to all corners of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.